So show the time of ascent equal to time of descent. So what is the time of ascent? So time taken by a body thrown up to reach maximum height is called time of ascent. For example, it is a body which is thrown up. So it goes on in the upward direction in the air up to its final velocity zero. Then we can say it has reached maximum height at this point it has reached maximum height. So here time is T1 which is time of ascent. Acceleration due to gravity is minus Z because gravity is acting downwards and body is a moving up. So the rate of change of velocity is in the decreasing order. Acceleration due to gravity is minus Z and initial velocity is U. So time taken by a body thrown up to reach maximum height is called time of ascent. So this body to reach this point time taken is called time of ascent denoted by T1. So here U is U and V final velocity is 0. So distance travelled is nothing but height maximum height S is H. Acceleration due to gravity is minus Z and time of ascent we want to derive the formula. We know that first equation of motion V is equals to U plus AT. So this implies V means 0 and u means u plus a means minus z t means t1 so this implies 0 is equals to u minus z t1 0 is equals to u minus z t1 this implies u is equals to g t1 then t1 is equals to u by z so this is a formula for time of ascent next what is the time of descent Time taken by a body to reach the ground from maximum height. So here the body reached maximum height and it is coming down. So to come down from maximum height to the ground time taken is called time of descent. Means that in this case it is a freely falling body. It is a body thrown up. It is a freely falling body. So time taken by a body to reach the ground from maximum height is called time of descent. So we know that for a very freely falling body initial velocity is 0 and final velocity V acceleration due to gravity is positive. Height is H and time of descent is taken as T is T2 question mark. So now we want to derive the formula. S is equals to UT plus half AT square. We know that S means H. U means 0, 0 into T, 0 plus 1 by 2. A means G and T means T2, T2 square. So that is g t2 square by 2 so by the cross multiplication h is equals to g t2 square by 2 by the cross multiplication we can get g t2 square is equals to 2 h then t2 square is equals to 2 h by g then t2 is equals to square root of 2h by g but we know that we know that maximum height uh, reached by the body is given by the formula h is equals to u square by 2g we derived this formula in the previous video substitute this one in the place of h here so in the place of h this is uh, substituted so this implies t2 is equals to square root of 2 by z into h h means u square by 2z then 2 to get cancelled so which is equal to u square by g into z means g square so t2 is equals to t2 is equals to u by z whole square square root to get cancelled this implies t2 is equals to u by z so time of descent, time of descent also came as T2 is U by Z and you can see time of ascent. This is T1 is equals to U by Z. So and T2 is U by Z. Therefore T1 is equals to T2. Time of ascent equal to time of descent. So you can see again from top to bottom students. Clearly.